Detroit, Michael Rasmussen was ineligible to play for the Grand Rapids Griffins during the regular season except for a brief conditioning stint because he still has junior eligibility. But the 6-6 forward could be a nice addition for the Griffins in the All-Playoffs. That can only happen if the Detroit Red Wings send Rasmussen back to his junior club, the WHL Tri-City Americans, which they are contemplating. The Red Wings are completely healthy for the first time all season as they face the Chicago Blackhawks tonight at Little Caesars Arena, 7.30, Fox Sports Detroit. Rasmussen might end up being a healthy scratch tonight, coach Jeff Blaschel did not reveal his lineup, and in more games. The Red Wings will call up top 2018 pick Philip Sedina at some point next month for a maximum nine-game stint. That would further reduce Rasmussen's chances of being in the lineup and playing in a top-nine role. Rasmussen has played less than 10 minutes in three of the past five games, mostly on the fourth line. He has seven goals and eight assists in 48 games with the Red Wings and picked up a pair of goals in three games with Grand Rapids. The Red Wings kept Rasmussen past the 10-game mark this season, burning a year off his entry-level contract, feeling he didn't have much to gain going back to juniors, where he dominated the past two seasons. Rasmussen accumulated 63 goals and 51 assists in 97 games for Tri-City the past two seasons. He had 16 goals and 17 assists in 14 playoff games for the Americans last year. Howard starts versus Hawks Jimmy Howard will be in goal tonight for the Red Wings. Here are the potential lines, based on Tuesday's practice. Tyler Bertuzzi Dylan Larkin Anthony Mantha Thomas Vanek Franz Nielsen Gustav Nyquist Andreas Athanasiu Luke Glendening Christopher and Aaron Helm Jacob De La Rose Justin Abdelkader Michael Rasmussen practiced on the power play, so he might replace De La Rose or in defense. Nicholas Cronwall Mike Green Danny DeGeyser Nick Jensen Trevor Daly Philip Hironic Scratches Jonathan Erickson Luke Watkowski